Hello everyone. In this quick tutorial, I will show you how you can deploy your custom agent developed in Copilot Studio to SharePoint. Previously, we were able to add our agent or embed our agent in SharePoint sites using iframe code. Well, that worked. And in some cases it was good because you could uh, basically customize the height and width of the agent uh, in the SharePoint site. But it was challenging for end users because if you build an agent for certain users, then you would need manual sign in. And that would, of course, uh, not make your end users happy because they would prefer having single sign on. Or you would have non-authentication set. But again, in that case, um, you would miss some. Uh, capabilities that coming with authentication, such as getting user uh, details like variables that you would use later for, let's say, Power Automate, agentic flows, etc. But this new feature allows us to deploy uh, our agents to SharePoint using Microsoft 365 uh, authentication. And as you can see here, on the top it says because you choose Macros you chose Microsoft authentication on the Teams plus Microsoft 365 and SharePoint channel is available. So this part is new and let we will do this together. So before deploying this, uh, I will show you the documentation. You must have right access to the Sh SharePoint site that you are uh, deploying your agent. This is very important. There is also some licensing guide. I will not uh, touch base on them because I believe um, Miko Koskinen did really great job uh, defining this in the late in his latest uh, article in LinkedIn. I will share this in the post. But let's come back here and see how we can deploy it. So to deploy it the similar way we would do for Teams and Microsoft 365 Copilot, click SharePoint, and from here you can either type the SharePoint site name or click the drop down and select your uh, site. And from here, click deploy, deploy SharePoint site. And as you can see, to make this agent easily visible to site visitors and expand its reach, please work with the site owner to approve it on the SharePoint site. So we will do that. And if you click this ellipsis, you have two options, copy site URL or open agent in SharePoint. For testing, this is very important. If you click this, this will take you to SharePoint. And from here, you can test your agent. And you get this banner. Uh, in these agents that build uh, Copilot Studio when you deploy it to SharePoint, but you can also exit. And you, as you can see, uh, this is using Microsoft authentication, so I don't need to authenticate. And from here, let's say I have adaptive card here. I can say I want to submit a use case. Perfect, this worked. That just gave me the uh, adaptive card that I have. So I will exit from here. So perfect. If I scroll down now, I can see my agent added here. If I click the same way, I can uh, use my agent here. But how about end users to see and interact with agent? Of course, there is. Um, some configuration that your site owner need to do, like approve, and there is also uh, licensing that your admin also need to take care of it. But from here, if you click this ellipsis, set as approved, that means that end users with proper uh, licensing, they will be able to use your agent. So if I click set as an approved agent, Perfect, success, this agent is now set as approved. You can find the agent inside assets. So let me click OK. Exit from here. Now if I extend this, you can see my agent. And there are other agents. You can see it from here. But this one should be approved actually. So let me refresh.
Okay, perfect. I will actually set as site default. For some reason, I can still don't see the agent show up in the approved uh, list. This may take some time, but once um, maybe a few minutes later, you will see that in the approved uh, list and your users can use it. So how about undeploying this agent? So the same way you would come to configuration in the site. So if you click here, as you can see, this is deployed. So you can basically uh, click undeploy and this will undeploy your agent to SharePoint. So again, I think this is really helpful for makers to build and deploy their agents to SharePoint using Microsoft Authentication. And that way they can really streamline the processes. That means no more embedded codes, uh, no more uh, no authentication selected, and of course, uh, some benefits that coming from authentication itself, let's say our uh, variables that you would use, like some system variables like user ID, user display name, etc. Hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, like this video, and if you have any questions, thoughts, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.